Here's my latest experiment in starting peas. This was basically inspired by a large-scale producer who does 2,000 pounds of microgreens per week. And I will put a link to this video in the comment area. The point is that in his discussion with uh, Curtis Stone was that because he was working at a large scale, he could not afford to be spending a lot of time soaking seeds with the possible exception of sunflower seeds. So I thought, well, let's try again to start some pea seeds without soaking them. And so I came up with this variation on my normal growing technique. So what I did here is I laid down a layer of pea seeds over two layers of my recycled uh, brown paper towels and then I laid another layer on top of it and soaked it. So this is what has happened. So all these little guys are growing up very nicely. This is the 5th of May. This was started on the 28th of April. So that's five days and we're getting uh, good germination. It's pushing up the paper towels. I'm not sure if I'm going to uncover it yet, but you know, I think this is a successful method and I am intending to also try this with sunflowers. I don't see any reason why it won't work. The difference will be that when I lay down the sunflower seeds, I will soak the area pretty well with my anti-mold mixture, which is now about um, 15 to 20 drops of oregano leaf and 15 to 20 drops of GSE in a quart of water. Originally, I had wondered whether or not the peas would actually poke through these paper towels, which are not very strong. I don't think that's going to happen, but, you know, it has produced a very nice moisture environment for these peas. This tray has also been sitting on top of a germination pad at 80 degrees uh, for the past five days. It's a little bit hard to see, but underneath uh, the tray and the rack and so on, what you see is a Holmes air filter that I had laying around. And I put this in there. It's connected to the cyclic lighting system. The idea is that it will hopefully pick up a lot of the mold spores that are circulating in the area. Also, I like this layout compared to a conventional fan because as you've seen in my previous videos, I have a lot of jars of yeast and sugar sitting around generating extra CO2. I do not want to have a fan running in the area that would blow all the CO2 to some other place. And so I was willing to take the risk of having more mold as opposed to losing my CO2. I have been spraying my GSE and oregano formula on things like this uh, tray of wheatgrass since the beginning. When I first laid these seeds down on the paper towels, I sprayed them and I kept on spraying them pretty much day after day. And I continued to watch for uh, mold to see if it starts to grow up. But so far it looks pretty good.